So here's another example of a proof using the greatest common divisors and divisibility. So here, if we want to prove that if the GCD of A and B is equal to D, and A equals A not D, and B equals B not D, then the GCD of A not B is equal to one, okay? So like with any proof, the first thing we're gonna do is write out our knowns, write out our assumptions. So that's gonna be the if statement, so the if before the then. So all of this information we're gonna go ahead and write out. So, all right, proof. Let's let D equal the GCD of A and B. Let A equal A not D, where D is an integer, and B equal B not D. So these are our assumptions. So then the next step is just taking your assumptions and seeing if we can write them differently or use them in a way that will take us to the next step of the proof. Well, we can't really do anything with A equals and B equals this, but we do know that we can write this in another form because saying that D is equal to the GCD of A and B is really just saying that D is equal to a linear combination of A and B. And what I mean by that is there exists M and N. M and N are just arbitrary variables that I chose in Z. So M and N are integers such that D is equal to A times M plus B times N. So this statement and this statement are equivalent. So the GCD of A and B equals D is the same thing as saying that some linear combination, so some integer times A plus some integer times B equals to D. So if you ever have a, G, a GCD statement here, you can rewrite it as a linear combination. And just make sure you say that these variables here are integers. Okay, so now we have something we can work with. We have this expression that has A and B in it. And here we have definitions of A and B. So by substituting A equals A not D and B equals B not D, we have We have D equals A not D times M plus B not D times N, okay? And since these are integers and we know that integer multiplication is associative, associative, we can drop these parentheses, so we can just say D equals A not D M plus B not D N. So now we have a common factor of D. So we can say D equals D times A not M plus D times B not N. So we just factored out the D. And since there's a D in every factor, we can divide it through. So just dividing by D on both sides, we get one is equal to A not M plus B not N. And this is perfect because remember we said if we have a linear combination of two variables is equal to something, it's the same thing as saying that something is the GCD. So since M and N are integers, A naught and B naught, the linear combination of the two is equal to one. So this is the same thing as saying that the greatest common divisor of A and B is equal to one because this is just a linear combination. So we're gonna say 
since one is a linear combination of a naught and b naught, the GCD of a naught and b naught is equal to one. And that is what we wanted to prove. So that concludes this proof.